Recently, I had a lovely meal in a restaurant that included a whole head of cauliflower that was presented whole, but when you cut into it, it was deliciously soft and creamy. So I was looking for recipes online to see if I could replicate that at home, and I found a really great recipe on New York Times uh, website. So basically two ingredients, you can't go wrong with that. Saute some onions, and um, then you're going to take your whole head of cauliflower and put it in the pan, give it a drizzle with some oil. Now the next step in the recipe is cover the pan tightly with foil. When you see that uh, instruction in a recipe, a little light bulb should go off in your head and you should say, oh, but I have a combi steam oven. Do I need to do that? And of course the answer is no. So I've not done it before. We'll both see how it works out. So I've got my onions ready. I'm going to do as the recipe writer suggested and push the onions away a little bit and put the cauliflower here. I'm going to give it a drizzle with some delicious olive oil and all should be good. Now, when you have a recipe that asks you to take a heavy skillet like a cast iron skillet and put it into your combi steam oven, evaluate if that's something you feel comfortable with because the pan is going to be hot lifting it into the oven and it's going to be really hot lifting it out. And most combi steam ovens are mounted above our convection ovens and involve lifting our arms up. And it can be awkward to manage a heavy pan, especially if you're not very tall. So if you don't feel comfortable using the cast iron pan, find a casserole dish or use one of the oven containers that you can do, replicate the same meal in. Uh, the beauty of this was you saute the onions in one pan and use the same pan for the roasting. Okie dokie, let's get it in the oven and see how this works out. Now I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes as per the recipe. The original recipe called to cook the cauliflower at 400 degrees. But I know when I cook with a combination of heat and humidity, it's quite powerful. So I've dropped the temperature in my oven to 375. There is a lot of um, trial and error with a, when you're learning how to cook in a combi steam oven. Um, if you feel your oven runs hot, drop the temperature. If not, you can leave it high. And remember, you can always give it a little blast of heat at the end or if your oven has a broiling feature, you can always add a little bit of top heat to give it a nice bit of browning. We'll see what finishing this needs after 20 minutes. And of course, make some, make a really delicious sauce. This is the lovely pesto I've made. It'll just be perfection. Mm -hmm.